The best way to learn a programming framework like Spring Boot is to get some hands-on experience. I will adopt a project-based learning approach to teach different aspects of Spring Boot. That is, together, we will work on the backend RESTful APIs of an interesting web application called Hogwarts Artifacts Online. As you probably know, I am a big fan of Harry Potter. So, here is the story. The headmaster of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry came to us and requested a web application for managing their numerous magical artifacts and wizards. The wizards in Hogwarts are in the process of developing a front end using a spell, Angular View Reactress. They only need us to get the server side or the backend down because they haven't learned the spell Spring Syndio. In return, he offered us a free tour to Hogwarts, of course, by broomsticks. Let's go for it. Please code along with me. This project may seem deceptively simple, but there are a lot of good stuff in it. Here is what you will learn while you are building the REST APIs. You will use the Spring Framework's core container and the dependency injection technique to control how objects are wired up. You will build the web layer of an application using Spring MVC. MVC stands for Model View Controller. You will see how easy it is to handle incoming HTTP requests and respond results to the client side using Spring MVC. You will use Spring Data JPA to persist data to a relational database. JPA stands for Jakarta Persistence API. You will use Spring Security with JWT to secure API endpoints. JWT stands for JSON Web Token. You will also use some Spring Boot production-ready features to monitor and manage your application when you push it to production. And more. Here is another goal of this tutorial. Besides teaching the cool features of Spring Boot, in this Hogwarts Artifacts Online project, I want to demonstrate some good software engineering practices so that they will help your future career. For example, we will use Git and GitHub for version control and project management. We will learn the API-first approach and how to effectively design RESTful APIs. I will also adopt the test-driven development or TDD approach. That is, I will start with writing a failing test case, then write just enough code to make the test pass, and then refactor the code to make it more maintainable. In the end, I will show you how to use GitHub Actions for continuous integration and continuous delivery. In particular, we will deploy this Spring Boot application to Microsoft Azure, which is a popular cloud platform. I will periodically add more topics to this series of Spring Boot tutorials. Please take a look at the description of this video below to see what new content is added. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. This is an overview of our development process. We will go from requirements to project planning to design, to implementation and testing, and to deployment. Please note that real projects rarely follow this sequential flow. It is never a simple linear flow, but evolves feedback from one activity to another. In other words, it will be more iterative. But for educational purposes, 
we will use this simple linear flow in this project to show important activities to consider during the software development. To be more specific, we will use user stories to describe our requirements. We will use GitHub issues to plan and track our work. We will then first design and develop an API documentation for the web application. After that, for each user story, we will design it using object-oriented design, or OD, and then use test-driven development, or TDD, to implement it. Once we finish developing all the user stories, we will talk about continuous integration and continuous delivery, or CI-CD. You can see here all the good software engineering practices we mentioned in the previous slide.